This situation started insane, and it's only gotten more insane. If you're familiar with this situation, please bear with me because I'm going to give a quick recap for anyone that's not familiar with it, but there's plenty of new stuff here you're going to want to see. At least I'm pretty sure you're going to want to see. So quick recap, we had this VTuber, Rika, who partnered with a couple police departments in Chiba Prefecture to promote traffic safety, and there were radical feminists in Japan that tried to cancel the entire event, saying that her outfit was misogynistic, it was too revealing and the police department's YouTube channel did end up pulling the video. I covered the news and I actually got a shout out from the VTubers agency as well. That was awesome. A petition was then formed acquiring well over 30,000 signatures demanding a response from the radical feminist group. If you want more details on all of that and you haven't seen the associated segments, I will link them in the description for you. But for people that have seen them, we're going to move on now. So since all of that has occurred, it has become mainstream news over in Japan on some level. Because the Nippon News Network, which I think is safe to say is a mainstream news network in Japan, has covered this topic. And they even had people on the ground asking other Japanese people what they think about this too. Unfortunately, when I watched the video last night, it was still available for me, but now it's not for some reason. But you can see the article right here talking about it. And we've even had a well-known Japanese politician getting involved with the situation as well. Turns out this dude is also a virtual YouTuber. And get this, he also attended the wedding of the gentleman who has married Hatsune Miku. So this politician is an acquaintance of Hatsune Miku's husband. I mean, that's freaking awesome. Over on the article talking about the VTuber news, going back to that, there's so many comments. I mean, there's over a thousand comments just pretty much roasting the radical feminist group. I think it was called like the Feminist Parliamentary League in Japan or something of that sort. Uh, for example, right here, they talk about like, it's just the reaction of a, of, a, of a minority. Excuse me. I just can't stop laughing at this. Like, I'm, I'm trying not to laugh externally, but internally, I'm like so, so thoroughly amused right now. I, I can barely suppress it. Talks about ignoring the minority claims and that the feminists are essentially just a minority. Of course, this is a translation that's scuffed, but I think it's safe to presume, you know, some of the context here. This is a big problem because lawmakers pressured uh, to remove it because this group didn't like it. It's censorship of expression and a communist act. Jeez. Uh, it's just a pressure group, isn't it? Realize these people are destroying culture. I mean, dude, it goes on and on. Apparently, the Feminist League has also responded Right here, they say in the article, on the other hand, the National Federation of Feminist Parliamentaries, who issued the protest statement, said, quote, I know that the protest statement has caused a lot of noise. Uh, the protest statement being them, you know, demanding that this thing gets removed, I, I presume. After that, they say, we will hold a meeting in the near future and consider how to deal with each place from the September 20th broadcast news. And I see Japanese people in the comments also saying, like, shouldn't they have held a meeting before they got all outraged and like said that this VTuber was problematic and demanded that the promotion was pulled. Again, let me remind you, although you don't need a reminder, but I'm going to drive the point home a million times. The event, the promotion was to promote traffic safety. It was simply to help people. And this radical group got it removed. Apparently their offense towards this VTuber's very simple and basic outfit is more important than promoting public traffic safety. That might not be the end of this though, because... The VTubers agency has demanded that a set of questions are answered by the Feminist Parliamentary League. If, if I recall, there was about five questions and they were demanding an answer by September 25th. So it kind of sounds like the league is going to ignore those questions. And I'm not surprised if they do because those questions pretty much just obliterate them. The league already looks terrible though. So if they answered these sincerely and maybe admitted that they overblew the situation, they could probably get back a little bit of favor at least. And, and I'm not even just saying that to like win back favor. I'm saying maybe they could fix some of their own policies because from what I've seen, including the opinions of a lot of women in Japan that have talked about this, the league doesn't seem to be helping women they seem to be hurting them. And with all that, that seems to be the current conclusion to this situation. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed covering this news. Very amusing stuff. And yeah, as always, thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I look forward to catching you in the next one.